Toy break. Toy break. Toy break. Let's do it. Guacamole. And what? that means welcome to episode 58. Of what? Toy break. Who are you? I'm George. I'm Aileen. I ate guacamole. <laughs> He's a little retarded. Before when we sat on the couch, we just little? sat there with our arms crossed, and now we just hunch over a table. <laughs> I, know. I know. I try to sit up, but... Okay, let's all sit up and fix our posture. Okay. You guys do it too, everybody. This is good posture episode. Maybe eight. we should get those like exercise balls and sit on those. Oh, like posture Leo Laporte? Posture awareness week. Leo Laporte sits on one of those. Let's do I it. I think it works out well. stupid asshole. At least now my balls aren't chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is my inner thigh. But you want to get a ball to sh- What? Huh? Who said that? <laughs> Keep that, it down. Is that John from Cincinnati? <laughs> it's John from Kansas City. <laughs> so, we have a voicemail Let's from get John. To it. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hi, um, this is John from Kansas City. Yes, I've seen those characters, those mice characters that you were showing in episode 56, I saw them uh, quite some time ago on uh, at, at um, Kid Robot, but not in those colorways. They were solid colorways, and they didn't have a lot of the deco on the clothing and stuff that they were showing on your show. And um, I think the dude got duped into buying some uh, <clears throat> some bootlegs because they were not even in those colorways or anything, and I recognized them from uh, Kid Robot. So, yeah, dude, he bought them off of eBay or something. He, he probably got uh, some bootlegs, definitely, I think. Yeah, because those, those look pretty hinky. Peace out. Yeah, me. Yeah. So thank you, John. Thank you for calling. Uh, so somebody had what? <laughs> that guy talks so fucking slow. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a good thing nah, he already hates you, nah, man, because he's gonna nah, hate you now. But that's nah, okay. Nah, uh, <laughs> I think when people call in, we need to have that Jeopardy music playing, <laughs> so they'll feel like they're they gotta speed up, got a timer going. Um, well, that's good. That I mean, we we kind of figured they were bootlegs, so it's confirmation again, though, that somebody else thinks that too. So that's true. He didn't help us out with a name, though. We're still looking for the name None of those. Name. If we could figure out the artist who did them or the name of what they yeah. originally were before they were bootlegs. Thanks for calling in and repeating what we already said <laughs> slowly. That's John. He's no. looking out for us. Awesome. Thank you for calling awesome. in. Awesome. Thanks. Bootlegs <laughs> confirmed. Maybe. John from Cincinnati. Not sure. Call in any time. Let's get on to the Combat R Zero Superset Contest winner. Let's Thanks. do that. You, somebody out there, is going to win all five of the Superset of Combat R Zero from Atomic Mushroom Toys. Two hundred dollar value. We had a whole bunch of participants. Thank you to everybody who participated. And uh, do while we... you shake that up, I'm gonna tell a little story. Tell a story. Um, Atomic story. Mushroom Toys, since they're watching this episode, to find out who wins, probably. Um, someone on our forum had sent a really awesome drawing to them, and he's not sure if they ever received it or not. Oh. So it would be cool if they could. It's uh, I think his name is it's, it might be Jap Vinyl on our forum. I can't remember the name exactly. Um, but go to the contest of this contest and scroll through. It's a really awesome drawing. If you have if you didn't get it, you should at least go check out the pictures because they're it's really good. Okay, so do we want to pick or do we want to up and then catch? Because I always like the up and the catch. Up and catch, it's more glorious. Okay. Huge mess. Who's catching though? Who cares? Everybody. Let's all try to catch. All right, we're all going to catch and we'll rotate it. Okay, Set. here it goes. Go. <laughs> they all landed on your head. I got one. I caught this one. <laughs> Not in the air, but I caught it. So wait, now we have to. What's Shambo? Okay. Ready? Okay, you're out. You're out. Aw, oh, you win. This one's the winner. Who is it? JJ Fool. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much for first. Ooh, go for it. Let's just keep clapping. Just for the rest of the episode. <laughs> the episode. I'm covered in names. Fill, fill some time. 
JJ Fool is the winner. I want to see what he posted. Sorry, Jimmy Foo, you did not win. What were your guys' favorite posts? I did not even look at them. What was your favorite robot movie? I liked the one where the robot was like, bleep, blop, bloop, bloop. That was a good one. Can we find JJ Fool real quick? Let's pause. Find out what he did. Pause. Now. And we're back. And Aileen is laughing. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> There's a robot attack during that break. <laughs> that was a close one. You all right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Great. Never been better. <clears throat> so it looks like JJ hmm. Fool posted Pinocchio, which I have not seen, we but it looks don't interesting. Nobody knows it. Maybe but he like says it's the best one yet. Pinocchio, except with two gay Japanese kids <laughs> instead of one gay puppy. <sighs> it's a cool looking robot in it the is. picture. So there what, you go. What's your favorite robot movie? I uh, I don't know. Really? Yeah. Robot Jocks, but I said it before. You got a favorite? I like Star Wars. Awesome. Now let us continue. Let's do it. <laughs> this is just a... Let's thank our sponsors. Oh, FuzzyBallsApparel.com We're only at this part of the show. <laughs> FrozenEmpireToys.com 3DoctorIntro.com <laughs> DeliciousDrips.com TaintedVisionsArt.com PanicsToyBox.com Excellent. Thank you. Thank you to all of our sponsors, and you should check them out. Don't forget to go to 3dretro.com or Funkrush. What's the website for that one? Funkrush.com. Just Funkrush.com. And uh, enter the code TOYBREAK upon checkout for 20% off your entire mm. order. 20. Mm. Thank you one to 3D Retro and Funkrush. Yay. 110? Is that you? Something like that is what I did. I think it's time for news. 10%. Oh, that's binding contract. News. <laughs> news. Up first, we have the new speaker dog designs. These are by Ben the Illustrator. La Siri, Mexico, hope I said that right, includes 45 new designs on the classic speaker dog paper toy. Check out bendtheillustrator.com. Bend the what? Bend he <laughs> illustrate. What? No, bent he illustrator. Huh? Bendtheillustrator.com. Next up, <laughs> Pecan Pals that by was so Noferin. Awkward. <laughs> we'll cut the awkward out. <laughs> Pecan Pals by Noferin. Articulated wood figures, limited to 200 pieces per character, releasing sometime this month. <laughs> Noferin.com. Unless you're watching it outside this month, then it would be the month we're in while we're filming. Releasing in December 2008. Oh, thank you. Headphonies by Aaron Weinberg. It's three inches tall? Wow! <laughs> oh, the toy is three inches tall. Not Aaron. Uh, uh. Told you it would be fun is to do this. Is there a gas leak in here today? <laughs> <laughs> Was your guacamole also alcoholic? I'm tired. <laughs> Headphonies by Eran Weinberg. <laughs> Three inches tall, limited edition, portable mini speakers featuring artwork from artists like Kozik and Mad. They have rechargeable batteries that allow for approximately four hours of playtime. $30 at headphonies.com. Since we don't have this one and it's just a news segment, go to spankystokes.com and check out his review for uh, listening to what the speakers sound like. There you go. Do you want to get this one? Do you want me to get this Tins one? Tins for Tots. Kid Customs with PPG Industries and Weedy Weed Studios have invited the world's best hot rog strippers. <laughs> <laughs> have invited the world's best hot rod stripers, street artists, illustrators, airbrushers, graphic designers, and cartoonists to customize a set of special fenders that are interchangeable on the Kid Customs Rodler strollers. The finished products will be displayed in galleries worldwide and then auctioned off for charity. For more info on this Tins for Tots and Kid Customs new Rodler Strollers Tricycle, visit kidcustoms.com, spelled with a K, like the cool hot rodders do it. Is that how they're doing it now? <laughs> I believe they like to be called hot rockers. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of an interesting thing. It's a stroller that then later converts into a tricycle. So you don't just throw your stroller away when your kid's old? Exactly. That's that a good idea. Dangerous. Although I didn't know kids still rode tricycles. Somebody does. Some do kid. Or else they just play it, ride wheels. your tricycle on your Xbox 360. All right. <laughs> Today we're doing... Oh, it's blind box time. Yay! Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! 
today we have, we're going old school here. Old school. Fat caps. Whoa. I have to open two. We are series going old one school. and series two. Which one are you guys opening first? Uh, uh, series one, I believe, is the blue box. Let's open, no, series two. Or series two, two is the blue the, box. Yeah. Series one is the green. Let's open that one. Series one, what camo. Do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Something pink. I want something. Hopefully, there's not a fat cap in here and it's a different toy altogether. We'll see. I want the one with the little skull blue head thing. Okay. I want the one go. with a stick. I want one holding a stick because that's funny. Oh. Oh, that's fun. Wow. There they all are. Is mine shorter than yours? Of course. You're a woman. I still want the one holding a stick. Oh, look, I got the oh. exact same one I've only ever had, ever. I've oh, already had this one. I got that one, too. It's on his face. Oh, it's, a it's supposed to be a headband. Oh, you got the one I wanted. These things are stinky. Yeah, there. That's the oh. one I wanted. Well, here you go. Oh, Merry I got Christmas. the one I wanted. Yay. All right, I got the same one as George. Sweet. Sweet. I'm throwing it away. You got, like, ten of these now? Yeah. It's a fat cap. That'll be up on our forums. Oh, number two. What do you want? All right, series two. Here we go. I want the little taxi driver looking guy. I want the soldier or the robot. I'll have the soldier or the S and M. Oh, transformer, transformer. Maybe. Or I'll take the one with the mat or the flying fortress. This series actually looks a little bit better. Yeah, there's there are a few better artists oh, versions like a on zombie. Guy. I get the same Indian headband guy. That would be awesome. <laughs> okay, I love the one I got. Oh, this is all graffiti. I'm like, oh, that one's mine's a mad awesome. doctor. Hey, the bloody accessory. Haha, uh -huh, mine's bad. Mine has an accessory, an accessory too. What'd you get? I got a street that kid was, like, doing some graffiti. Crazy. I'm actually okay with this one. Mine's like the... uber 80s. Oh, that is good. Design. I like it though. Wow, series two, far improved. Yeah, series two is pretty good. I love this guy. He's like a crazy mad doctor. Is this just a money body? Bloody yeah. Mm. yeah. Or it's a dunny body with a dunny. My guy's doing freaking full on graffiti with like oh. pump spray cans and like. No, that guy's doing the thing with the cattle prod thing. That the guy, <laughs> Friendo. What the hell was that movie? No Pop Country, country Cold Man. Where he's got Friendo and he's gonna fucking air power your head. Mine says the past. Todd Fly on it. Yeah, it does. I bet you like that Let's one see. though. Hey, there's a saw. It's Mine cool. says Tree Tree. It's like Frankenstein. Soap times Tizu. T i z i e u dot com. Tizu is right. the artist on mine. This one's actually cool. Look at there's a lot of little details on there, and they're all pretty clean. Mine says to oh. fly. Mine this one's called fly. damaged goods. This that guy's awesome. awesome. Who's the artist That's on that? Cool. Does it say a little website? Or I guess it's damaged goods. Damagedgoods dot com. Oh, that is so good. I'm gonna go check that out. Yep. So that happened. So that's better than the first line. I'll tell you. There we go. Boy, I'll tell you what. Have caps. And we have things thing is really everywhere. stupid. There's a serious well, improvement, though, from one to two. I like that. And good to know. So if you've given up on the fat caps, check go out Go pick up some two. series two, yeah, because they're a lot better. All right. There we go. How about Sweet. some reviews? Reviews. Reviews. Should we sweep this garbage off the floor? Why? Oh, is that how we do it now? Yeah, the maid will clean up. Oh yeah, the maid. Wait, isn't that me? Yeah. All right. Clean it up. What are we doing first? We are doing. How about this one? It's sitting right in front of me. All right, let's do it. That thing no, it's sucks. in front of you. Next. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ludwig von Bust by Frank Kozik. Here's the giant box it comes in. <laughs> There it is. It's red and white with notes of gold. And mm. this is the 14 inch vinyl silver edition from 3DRetro.com. It's exclusive to 3D Retro. And it's limited to 50 pieces. This one goes for $200. What? Like I said, 3DRetro.com. Holy guacamole. Uh, there's some other colorways. I know there was an orange, there was a black, um, a green, I believe, a blue. Special thanks to Dspring. Who's Spring? No idea. Thanks, Dspring. Thanks, Dspring. Special thanks, thanks to you for this. You've got to be kidding me. That's cost $200. But wait. $200. There's um, more. 
Christie's Auction House in New York has recently started doing, um, in their pop culture section, has done vinyl toys. And a full set of these, I believe, was just in their last auction and sold for quite a bit of money. Wasn't it like 3500 Something like that for like... Ish, something, I want to say 3500 Something like that where if you had bought them separately, it would have cost like... Two grand way or something, less. <laughs> way less. And if you buy them, if you bought them at the auction house, it was like thirty five hundred because you get the full set. That's ridiculous. already worth more. Christie's auction house. So there you go. It's I cool. don't care. It's still dumb. What do you think about the figure itself with the clockwork orange eye? I hat? think the sculpting is horrible. It looks like it's made out of mashed potatoes. It doesn't look like bronze finish. It doesn't look like marble. It doesn't look like well, it's plaster. silver. It's not. There's a bronze. That's no, different. but like the I mean, sculpting style sculpting. of what it would be oh, if oh, it oh. were bronze. It looks like poor sculpting style. I, I don't know. It's dumb. I think, in my opinion, there should be one color of this, and it should be the orange one. Hmm, clockwork orange. The orange with the black yeah. eye, with the black shades on the eye. The orange at least makes a little sense. It makes sense with the character of what it is and what it's supposed to be. As far as it being a good sculpt... It's not. It's no. not. It's scars. a little lumpy. Um, I love that it's vinyl. I mean, it doesn't weigh anything. But you can impress your friends and neighbors and be like, Oh, it's so heavy. Oh. You could oh. probably just do that with anything around the house. Like a this is no, the, you can only do it with this. Did you? Did we mention this is the 3D Retro exclusive? We did. Okay. Yeah. So did buy we, this from 3D Retro because it's awesome. Did we mention that this is what you could win in the current contest? What? Holy so, cow, it's true. We may not like it, but this. that doesn't matter because other people do. We don't have to like everything. Um, so, yeah, Matt, what do we got to do to win this? All you got to do to win this amazing bust is break into an older lady's house and rape her. And then and post pictures on the forum. I I was not let in on that contest idea. Yeah. Clockwork Orange Clockwork style. Orange. What do you mean? How old is old? Well, Older than you, really. Is you know, all Alex I mean. is supposed to be 14 in the book. Okay. Whoa, not in the movie though, right? Well, not in the movie. Not in the movie. <laughs> he was in high school, in the movie. So anybody so, older, really, like thirty? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> ten to twenty years older than you. Yeah, that's fine. Rape and kill someone. Wait a minute. You, you wait a minute. Do. Wait, wait, wait. We no, no. This is not okay, a good idea. Just brutal rape. Then. No, just this isn't. Brutal rape. This isn't a good idea. Let's rethink this. What if you just break into someone's house and take pictures? No, no, mm. no illegal activity. Yeah. What if you just take pictures of a house? Okay. After you break in and rape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no guys, rape. Rape is no laughing matter. Unless you're raping a clown. <laughs> I saw that in a shirt. T-shirthell.com. I didn't make that up. Uh, Seriously, what do you have to do to win this prize? We didn't think of anything. I thought you rape. had an idea. No, yeah, that was, that was it. it. Oh, we don't have rape. anything. The rape, rape was the idea. So here's what you have to do. <laughs> go over to toybreak.com. Go to the contest section on our forum. Post a quote from Clockwork Orange. No duplicates. Okay. That's not from Clockwork Orange. They didn't say no duplicates. <laughs> I read the book. I watched the movie. Um, so that's all you have to do. So 3D retro exclusive. So you have to break you into someone's it. house and then go to their computer and post. <laughs> yes. No rape. No breaking and entering, no killing, no brutal beatings. Just post a quote from the movie. No duplicates from people before you. And you can win this $200 mini bust. Actually, it's sort this of... This is kind of a big bust. This is a regular, big bust. Regular bust size. Yeah. Not so many. Although not actual one-to-one -one scale. Unless Beethoven was really little. He was little. small. I'm you not didn't sure know that's back supposed in the day. to be Beethoven. Um... That might be the Hamburglar. Ludwig von <laughs> Mashed Potatoes. All right, there so you there go. Is, the deadline is December 31st, so this is a good way to bring in the new year. Look, there's an, a non-winner from the last contest. Oh. It's just hanging out over here. Sorry, it's Grim a Sheep. Sad. But thanks for entering. Enter the new contest, yay! What else we got? Friday the 13th, part 7. Because we all saw part 7. I, I did. have Didn't never you guys? seen a single uh, Friday the 13th <laughs> oh, thank you. There you go. movie. Like oh, this. a little costume for my penis. <laughs> or my nose. 
This is the 12 inch Jason Voorhees Cinema of Fear Mezco action figure. Rotocast vinyl 12 inch with real clothing That's ripping true. right off of him. Just real shirt. Real shirt. And real small hockey mask. And simulated real chain. And sickle, and axe, and machete. And sickle, and axe, and machete. And extra mask. Wait, yeah, well, yeah, there's the machete. So, I don't know. Um, I'm not a huge Jason horror fan or anything, but he gets into the pose as well. I mean, he's got the, he can do the, I can wield so the So does this guy. Yeah. That's not a benefit, just because he has articulation. He's got articulated, why, he's not, no articulated legs at all just why do you need feet. to move the legs i don't know um i don't know he's got look he gets into the pose like he's gonna kill you with the giant knife his shirt's ripping open in the back where you can see his spine spine yeah. action you could take his hat off and look at his toxic <laughs> avenger face <laughs> i don't i don't mean to hate everything tonight but that thing is seriously a huge piece of crap i'm going to take this from you and since i am a huge jason fan mm -hmm. i love it Huh. You're allowed. I know. That is worse I think it's pretty cool. Then they were making in the 80s. I remember going to a toy store in the 80s and picking up a toy much like this out of a big bin full of like Frankenstein and Dracula and Wolfman. I got Wolfman like the same size as that big chunk of roto vinyl. Did it have a removable With just mask? a hang tag on it. It was just just as good as that. Just as good. Was it Jason? No, but well. neither is that. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> That's a beef jerky monster. The sculpting is... Because obviously haven't been following the series. So horrible. I, I couldn't tell you what Jason looks like from movie 7 to movie 1 or 2. Not in 1, but in 2 or 3 or 4. Well, How anyway. does a guy who wasn't even in his first movie become so big? I don't know. I've never seen any of those movies. That's why he's poppy. That's why it's amazing. He wasn't even in the first one. The sculpting in that figure is so beyond horrible. It's so crappy. It looks like tool marks and crap. Like the anatomy's crap. It it doesn't even look as good as the crappy suit they used in the movies. I'm gonna. Oh. Oh. That's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that was turned sideways. But it's got a lot of good movement. Okay, all Jason does in the movies so is like walk slowly, mannequins. so he doesn't need a whole lot of movement. <laughs> I don't it's burn know. Whatever. And freaking wrecked. How much was that? That is a $40 figure that oh my. you can... Good lord. It is sold out on MezcoToys.com, but you can still pick it up at HotTopic.com and Amazon.com, probably other fine retailers. If you put these two halves of the split mask together, one half is much bigger than the other, so whoever sculpted this is obviously an idiot. That could have happened in production. No. Maybe it's... Because like if this was, yeah, it, well, if this was, fit. this should be warped. That should be see how it's curved, and it got straight. If that was curved, okay. it might fit. It still wouldn't fit. Like That's the cutouts aren't even the same. A crap toy for forty bucks. I think you're gonna assume that the middle splintered and the pieces flew out. Seriously, McFarlane did Jason figures for seventeen dollars that were a billion times better than that. I like the figure. Forty's a little steep. I just don't get it. I don't know what they're going for. It's not stylized enough to be cool. It's like not cartoony. And it's not realistic. Here, here's like, the real problem with this. I don't mind. The, the sculpting is whatever. It's a horror figure. Why are they making Jason figures is the problem. <laughs> like, the real problem, the root of this, is there's enough Jason figures on the market. Yeah, there's enough Jason, Freddy, and Michael Myers for everybody. Yeah. They Leatherface, done. A billion the, times. Those movies are officially done. Yeah, we've got it. 2008 should be the end. This is the last one. This should be it. After this, no more Freddy, no more Jason. This could no even more. be the penultimate. There could be one more. Ooh. <laughs> but after that, no more. We're done. We've got enough Freddy, Jason. I don't care, four, five, six, seven. They're all the same guy. It doesn't matter. I don't know. Does. He looks very different in several of the movies. In this one, he looks different. Thank he you. looks like he's run over by a car. He even went to space. Yeah. Yes. Done. Okay, that one was a little retarded. If, they, if he was in a spacesuit, how cool would that be? He was never in a spacesuit. They unfroze him. All right, done. We're done with done. Jason. No more Jason toys. I, I he smells don't, good. I don't mind this. I, it's whatever. Don't mind it? Oh. Doesn't offend you? No. I don't mind it either. I just don't like it. I'll tell you what I don't 
think it needs is all the accessories. One is he good. just needs the he machete. He just needs the giant knife. The, the painting on the accessories are awful. Oh, yeah. There's like brush These strokes are okay. on the blood. That one That's, is pretty yeah, bad. Yeah, the knife is bad. But, yeah. So All right, let's get on to the next thing. Let's get on. But next remember, step. no more. No more Jasons, no more <laughs> Freddies, no more Leatherface, Michael Myers, done. We're done with those. What about C-3PO's? Have they ever done a C-3PO action figure? They have before. Huh. But we could probably use more. We could... Of those. Never be enough C-3PO action figures. Speaking Just of C-3PO, I already got it. Excuse me. So next up we have the Star Wars Chubbies. These are from Hot Toys. I had a Star Wars Chubby once. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> I am a Star Wars Chubby. Once or you still have? How do you open this thing? Would you like a knife? Like Matt's knife, I think. <laughs> Just rip it open. You're not keeping the package. Nothing happened. Nothing's happening here. Continue on about your lives. This is going to be an hour and a half long episode of opening. Take that away. <laughs> so, as you may or may not... Oh, there's more tape. Fucking tape. This Would is... you like to use my knife? <laughs> <laughs> Knives or for wussies? This is Hot Toys. Chubbies, by the way. Yeah. When you want to open your wussy, let me know. This is how I open toys. <laughs> I'm just going to reach in and help you out here. Thanks. Oh, their feet came off. They do come off. I'll just watch. Oh. <laughs> you open it. There you go, thanks. Take that away from me. Still packaging inside the package. So too. these are nesting dolls. They obviously. They rip these off from Russians. Put this in there. Yep, there you go. They're funny little characters, but I have some problems with these. <laughs> First of all, they're nesting dolls. <laughs> these stupid feet are retarded. <laughs> Yeah, the feet are unnecessary. Why are why is there a little foot base for oh, little wait, ones. that doesn't go there. That goes on top of his head. How? I didn't really understand. I'm hurting I, myself. I got this set from you guys. But, yes. Last year. You did. We brought it back from uh, Star Wars Celebration. No, Celebration yeah, number four. I never understood why they had the feet. Like you could put them all inside each other, but then you're left with a pile of feet. Feet. Stupid. Like, they could have just yeah. made the bottom of the egg flat. It kind of is. I mean, it stands. It stands perfectly fine. Yeah. Without and then I don't get what the smallest <laughs> stage of C-3PO is. Like, that's the one Anakin built, right? And then yeah. there's the middle one that... What's that? Just un ungolded? This, um, let's see. Well, just what can they put R2 in He's got some of the... What can the R2 inside C-3PO? Anakin's inside Darth Vader. Well, that makes I sense. I guess that makes sense, but... <laughs> Well, this look, he has no plating at all on this. This that's, is like full on just the parts and the, the one wires. Baby Anakin made. Yeah. And then when C3PO grew up a little bit <laughs> and he got all of his plating, but he hasn't been he hasn't been golded yet. Golded it. But then what, did he ever have a gold body and a silver head? Well, that's what if you take off his take plating off the... on his head. If you take off his head, Anthony Daniels is on there going, <laughs> "Help me! Help me get me out of this crazy suit." So this is the only one that I know that has a separate like head weird attachment. That goes on. How like, cool would it have been if you take have. off that <laughs> and it's Anthony <laughs> Daniels? All sweaty and red faced. <laughs> that would have been so good. The stocking cap. <laughs> so, again, another problem with the feet. What the hell do you do with these feet when they're nesting? I don't know. Like, you I put them have, on your bizarre goyle? <laughs> I just don't put mine all together. I just put them on my shelf and looked at them out in my giant pile of like CGPO toys. Yeah. Just out? Do you use the feet or just throw the feet Yeah, away? I have the feet on because then you can tilt them in crazy crazy angles. 365 degrees C of articulation. C-3PO would never do something like that. C-3PO Ooh, that's dance wacky. party. I'm glad they made a toy of that. So, uh, $13. I know you can get some of these at StarWarsShop.com. That's Star Wars Hop. So probably so, other places. Probably about as offended as you are at that Jason. I'm offended at these. These are just stupid. They're pretty crappy. <laughs> they're the, cool. Like, the designs are okay. They're pretty clean. They're better than some kid robot toys I've seen. Who would have ever thought some modern company would be selling nesting dolls? Of a Star Wars nesting figure. Dolls. Of a Star Wars robot. Yeah, why did they make these? I don't. Uh, I think they're kind of clever and funny. Oh, do you now? Yeah. Not as good as my Abraham Lincoln cup and ball. I have to disagree on this one. I think these are dumb. It's a cup and a ball. I would not but want these. What if the these? ball falls down? I'd it's like okay. It's on a string. Star Wars cup and ball toys. 
Here you go. Put like a string. Put a small going ball. Into Vader's head. You're done. Here, look. Oh, Here's the... Why not? Let's get a little ball. I'm sure, Hot Toys that is, is working on that right now. As soon as they watch this episode. Hot Toys, get to it. We're on to you, Hot Toys. Well, I think we are going to end on the chubbies here. I always end on a chubby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who doesn't? What? Um. On to events. Yes, perhaps we'd better move along. Events, happenings, Let's do it. stuff to do. So we have the Choking Hazard Show. Now, you're watching this right after VTN, and we just debuted the Choking Hazard Show, but as we've told you a million times, the show features a ton of customized one-inch mini Gwyns, and Literally a ton, guaranteed. Now beginning to tour indefinitely to stores and galleries around the world. That's right. The world. This world? So, if you haven't sent in your customized mini Gwyn and you still want to, send it in! No problem! Just grab one at, mi at GwynArmy.com. Not mini Gwyn Army. Mini no, Army. Just regular old GwynArmy.com. <laughs> GwynArmy.com and customize it, send it back. You'll still be added into the show wherever it may be at that time. This is now a traveling show, so you can continue to enter. If you've already done one and you feel like doing another one, send it in. There you go. We want to have a billion of these things. One billion. Or at least 500. <laughs> How about another event? How about Wreck the Hulls? Custom toy show at Genuine Article Gallery in Lake Ronkonkoma. Seriously? Ronkonkoma. No, that can't be right. That's but it's in New York. On December 20th, GenuineArticle.com in Ronkonkoma. Nobody lives in Ronkonkoma. That's made up. It's in Long Island. Lies. Right? Is this in Long Island? A liar. Uh, I don't know where Ronkonkoma is. It says New York. I think it's in Long well, I know Island. it's in New York, but New York's bad. It's next to John Conkoma. <laughs> <laughs> Don Conkoma? How about another event? How about Nocturnal? Art and toys by Kathy Olivas and Brant Peters at Cardboard Spaceship in Santa Cruz, California, starting December 12th. CardboardSpaceship.net. This will be Cardboard Spaceship's very last show before going exclusively online. How come I didn't see that whole article right there? I don't know. I skipped right it over that funny. one. It was pretty good, though. <laughs> I thought that was the last one. You just scrolled okay. down a bit. It's okay. I'll it's read that whole, one now. It's the whole reading thing. <laughs> How about our cool custom of the week? How about a cool custom of the week? How about a cool custom of the week? Cool, cool, cool customs of the week. Oh. You got one for us there? Yes. One of the customs in Iceland is to... Oh. <laughs> Different kind oh, of custom. Oh, yeah. So I customized toy. That was good. <laughs> I made this custom this week. It's from Sideshow's General Kenobi. This is what General Kenobi would look like if he was a Nazi officer. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> do you remember that part of the movie where he was yeah. a Nazi officer? Yeah, for like a frame. Well, this is like, what George Lucas didn't have the balls to do. <laughs> any, role, any commander of an army of stormtroopers would obviously be an SS officer. Obviously. obviously. Well, it parallels all the old. I love his quaffed hair and his styled beard. Well, it's because he's in his SS dress uniform. He has to have that whole Bee Gees vibe. Yeah. It is very Bee Gees. I should flash that picture of you with uh, your Ewan McGregor look. Mm. No? So, sure. <laughs> you too can make one of these with the Sideshow General Kenobi 12-inch and some black Would you like paint. to say what you changed? I spray-painted him. And then I added some 12-inch SS accessories. Access as accessories. And he has a Dracula cape. Is that what that was from? Dracula? Nice. Pretty sweet, eh? I like it's, it. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I actually just like the look of a black stormtrooper. It looks cool. Why well, you gotta be racist? Why has the stormtrooper gotta be black? <laughs> Helmet doesn't fit him, because he's got giant bushy giant hair. Giant quaffed hair. <laughs> That's okay, he can carry it. But whatevs. But it looks good. I mean, the colors of the oh. black and the red, I, I don't know. He could almost be... Those uh, Nazis really knew what they were doing. <laughs> he kind of also looks like Kenneth Branagh from uh, that he, movie with that guy from House. Definitely Why doesn't look like Ewan it? McGregor. Well, Star Wars is supposed to kind of parallel WW2. House? <laughs> the Rise of the Nazi Swing Empire. Yeah. That's it. That's a good movie. How they tricked Russia and all that stuff. It's so, there you go. Back. Historically accurate. This is Ewan McGregor's 
Stormtrooper. Slightly commander. slightly older brother. <laughs> I think. Jewin McGregor. <laughs> I'm going with Kenneth Branagh. All right. I think it looks like the guy from the Bee Gees. <laughs> it's good though. I like it. Awesome custom. Thank you for nice sharing job. that, Matt. Sure. We appreciate it, and they appreciate it. If you want to see I your cool custom on the show, um, feel free to either it. send it to us or just send us pictures. We don't have to have the actual thing here. Um, send us pictures. Post them on the forum or email them to us. And tell us about what it was and how you did what you did. Yeah, if you have some shots of making it, would be cool. Or if um, you want to make a little video uh, That would be it. awesome. That would be awesome. I'm making a video, send that to us. Info at toybreak.com. Mm, good to know, good to know. Visit us at toybreak.com. From, I'm ending the show, guys, okay. by the way. Okay. <laughs> Call us, 818-AM-I-GOOD. Visit us at toybreak.com. Check the show notes for the links to all the things we talk about. Click on the forum. Enter the contest for the Ludwig von bust. Remember to rape. Don't rape anyone. Mm -hmm. No rape. Do pillage, though. No pillaging, no rape, no? nothing pillaging? illegal, no. What are you we're, talking about? We do not want to be held responsible for any rapes. What are you trying to promote? <sighs> Jesus. I'm promoting not rape. <laughs> That's okay, but no pillaging? Watch our toy briefs at youtube.com slash toy break. Uh, currently, there is a Lego advent calendar open daily. You can follow along with us if you have your own Lego advent calendar. Sometimes not up at the beginning of the day, Sometimes but daily. Sometimes up at midnight on the day that it was there. <laughs> but daily. But it's going up. She's trying her hardest, people. <laughs> Back down. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thanks. Uh, listen to us on iTunes. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Tell your friends. Get them watching. Tell your enemies. Get them watching too. Tell our enemies. We don't care. <laughs> as long as you're watching. Um, and now here's your toy break.